Well, hello there, Amazon.com. My name is Bo Shevisu. If there's a small delay, that's because I'm filming on this guy right there. Yes, indeed, and it's plugged into a long cable, so I'm sorry if there's a bit of a delay, but isn't this fantastic? Look at how smooth it is. Very, very high quality. As you can see, I'm plugged into my big screen right here. I'm gonna turn out some lights, and we're gonna see what this looks like in low light, shall we? We're gonna do this, we're gonna close some curtains right here, pretend that it's dusk, and pretend that there are some bad guys sneaking in, and look at that, it is still quite bright. And we're gonna slowly sneak into the camera. Oh, there I am. Oh, isn't this just the coolest thing ever? Wow, fantastic. I, it's so dark, I can barely even see the camera right there. Beautiful. There's the quick little demo. Now let's move on to the actual setup and a small handful of tips, tricks, and hints that I would like to impart on you. The manual, you can throw that away. It's in English and, well, it's kind of to be expected for this price point. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So I'm hoping that this small little demonstration of this device um, is helpful. Uh, now, it's not a thorough expose on every single little feature out there because there's, to be, uh, let's be honest, there's a lot of features in this thing. Uh, but I would like to show you basic setting up and also. Uh, just just a, a brief uh, everyman uh, tutorial of, of what something like this looks like. Now, first of all, very impressed with the makeup of this thing. Full metal, uh, very, very tough, uh, very easy to mount, comes with all the mounting hardware, and with these two little cables right here, plug right into, uh, I'll show you where all the plugs go in just a moment. Also, if you were to cover this up, you could see bright, um, uh, well, not bright red, but dimly lit red, that basically um, uh, infrared, and so it, it sees very, very well in low light. And I'll show you an example in just a minute of it showing in low light. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put that down. First things first that you need to know, and I read through the manual and I just stumbled across this. I wish that it, they had make this, made this more obvious, and maybe they will after I post this review you will need a hard drive. Now this right here is, uh, <laughs> is the recorder. Um, from here, all of the cameras plug directly back into this guy. Um, what you need to know is, is this little hard drive right here does not come with it. You're gonna have to buy this separately. Thankfully, I had a small little laptop uh, SATA, S-A-T-A hard drive laying around, it's 500 gigs. And, and you can get it for fairly cheap. They're very cheap now on Amazon. Uh, so just, just keep that in mind, that when you get this, you're gonna have to open it up, and don't, don't be all afraid of the innards and whatnot, but you will have to hook up a hard drive. Uh, I didn't know that. I'm not a security professional. I'm not a network admin. I just was like, oh, <laughs> great. I have to hook up a hard drive. Now, once that is in place, um, you can put it back on, but just for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna leave this open. And I'm gonna actually show you how I hook this thing up. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, now, first of all, it comes with lots of cameras, lots of cables, very, very impressed with it. Uh, but really, you uh, just want to know what it looks like. And I'm actually going to be using my TV as the external monitor. So you will need a monitor of some kind. You could just get a cheap LED monitor, probably at Goodwill. Uh, just something that, that you can replay and see the footage that this captures. So for my use, and just so that you can see it easily, I'm using my TV. So let's get a good close-up look of what the back of this. Now don't be too blown away by all of the cables right here. Um, all right, excellent. So let's just pretend that you are just looking at the back of this guy. Uh, first of all, we are going to we are going to plug in this camera, and this camera is plugged into this, which in turn is plugged in to a power outlet, and we are going to plug in the camera. Uh, very very intuitive, by the way. I have I have tested uh, another security camera setup. And uh, it was not easy to plug these guys in. I, they make it very easy with this. Uh, then I have an HDMI cable 
which I'm going to plug into the back. You could also use a VGA cable, but you know my TV also takes HDMI, so we're going to plug that in. You can also plug in the internet as well, but I'm not going to go into that. That's a whole other can of worms. Also, a small little USB port for your mouse. Yes, it does come with a mouse, but I'm using my own little gaming mouse. I love it dearly, and it's nice and comfortable. So far, we have three plugs in. The camera, the actual uh, monitor, my TV, that is, and the mouse. Lastly, let's plug in the power, shall we? Oh, are you excited? Here we go. So we're going to plug this in right there. Now, as that's booting up, we are going to take a step back, and you are going to watch with me it actually start up excellent cool cool uh, position that can you see it okay i hope so all right it does take a little while to to beat it uh, to to boot up and one of the things that i like to make mention of is the beep when it's all done starting up th this beep is just really kind of loud and obnoxious as a matter of fact i actually put some tape over the little beeper inside so that it would beep less loud but that's just me that's just me uh, okay so right now it is starting up soon it should oh oh hey and there we go and you can see in the upper left right there that it is in fact showing me hello everybody hey isn't that just remarkable okay so as you can see it's very very smooth um this is not one of the security systems that uh, is, is super choppy footage. As you can see, it's very, very good quality. Very impressed. Slight delay, obviously, um, because this is a super, super long cable. Um, and that's kind of to be expected when you have really long cables. Uh, okay, and we are going to just kind of prop it up so that we can see my pretty little face right there. Hello. And right now, as you can see, I'm actually cycling through a tour, it's called. We're going to go into uh, what this actually looks like when we are in the system. Now, how you navigate, if you can see the mouse sort of barely right in the middle of the screen right there, if you right-click, that brings up the menu down below. And you probably can't see that very well, but there's a whole host of options down here. Uh, everything from main menu to record setup to the editor. And we're going to just touch on each of these very, very briefly. First, I'm on the far left main menu. Click on that, and it will ask you for a password. I haven't set mine right now, so it's just blank. And I'm going to click OK. Beautiful. Uh, all up top, you will see there are, uh, oh boy, a whole bunch of fun settings that we can play with. Uh, general video settings, network, alarm, configure the alarm, configure motion detection, all that very cool switch mode system as you can see it's fairly responsive i was kind of surprised how responsive this was uh, it really is comparable to a roku uh, with how it's set up um, i don't know if roku is based on linux but this is and uh, so these are my settings right here just english and tsc you really don't have to mess with a lot of these settings when you initially set this up uh, one thing to make note of, if you start this up and there's no hard drive plugged in, a little error will pop up and say, no HDD detected. And previously I said, you know, you have to buy that cheap hard drive off of Amazon and plug it in. All right, we can go to video settings and my frame rate is at 30, which is very smooth. Uh, that's actually the max that it can go. Bit rate is around 1000 kilobytes per second. Uh, that's about a fourth of the quality of DVD. Um, which is, is actually still pretty decent quality for a security camera. Uh, you can plug in the whole network right here. I don't. I'm not going to. Um, quite frankly, it's just, it, it, again, it's a whole other can of worms. But you can just hire a professional if, in fact, you want to hook this up to the Internet. All right, I actually want to show you uh, the playback on this. And, uh, well, first of all, uh, we're going to go to main menu. We're going to stop this whole tour. You know how it's flashing and it keeps changing the screen? That's this tour thing down here. And we're just going to stop the tour. So easy enough. Push OK and it should be done with the tour. Excellent. Right click. And now we're going to go down, click view one and camera one. So now you can see me right here. Uh, obviously, I only have one camera set up right now. Woo! How busy. Isn't that just so cool? Oh man, I'm so impressed with this. 
We're going to go down to the second one, quick playback. Play that right there. Uh, now this took me a while to get. Hopefully this will help you tremendously. Um, but you will notice down at the very bottom, so th this, is, this is the length of time. This is progression. Uh, and it has different channels. Channel one, two, three, four, all the little lines. If you see these, this little blue, the, this, I'm sorry, little green spots right here, use the scroll wheel on your mouse and that will zoom in on this. So I'm going to click on it right on the green and green indicates that it has actually recorded something. And oh, as you can see in the upper left, uh, that's previously me as I was playing with this. And we're going to scroll wheel forward. And as you can see, this oh, um, gets bigger and bigger. And now we can actually zoom in on the, uh, the, the event itself and zoom in. Oh, I zoomed in too much. There we go. Um, in the upper right, there is the date and the time and you can configure it and you can search through all of your events based upon this calendar, which is very, very cool. So for example, today is August 29th. If I click on August 29th, I can select all and then all my footage is right down there and you can see me and it is playing already. So let's get a quick little zoom in on that guy. You can see me just kind of sitting there, configuring it, having fun. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, so very, very easy to access this footage. So if you have a break-in or something, you can get this fired up in less than 60 seconds when the cops show up. Very cool, very neat. All right, so once again, this was not meant to be a complete demonstration, just a quick, quick little down and dirty demo of this security system. Uh, as you can see, a lot comes with this thing. And uh, I would, if I were you, set aside an entire Saturday to actually configure this thing. Or you can hire a professional. And, but if you're a, a tinker like me, I love to do stuff like this. Uh, very, very impressed with the quality. Extremely easy to set up. It's basically just plug and play. Just remember, you will need a hard drive to plug into it. And uh, yeah, the most time uh, you will dedicate to this project is probably actually mounting these things on the wall Because uh, once they are mounted you're ready to rock Just be sure you plug in everything beforehand Before you actually mount it on the wall You don't want to actually mount something that doesn't work and it's not configured correctly configure it all first So I hope these small little tips tricks hints are helpful in determining whether or not you will buy this security camera it's pretty much half the price of what I've seen elsewhere, so I'm very impressed with it. My name is Bo Shevison, and I look forward to demonstrating and testing more fun things here on the